Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman with another unboxing. The folks at Shuttle let us borrow their new DX30. Uh, this is a mini PC powered by one of the Apollo Lake processors. Unlike the, uh, the NUC that we looked at the other day, this is the dual core variant called the J3355. Uh, but this is one of those kits that comes uh, pretty configurable, so you can add in additional stuff uh, like RAM and storage as you need it. So we'll be uh, taking a look at all of those things during the main review that you'll be able to find on my main channel at lon.tv. So let's take the PC out of the box here and see what we get. A little larger than the NUC, but it might be a good thing because you can store some more stuff in it if you need to. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. Uh, so on the back, we've got an antenna port here, looks like for Wi-Fi. A bunch of USB ports, a display port, HDMI. Looks like it's got two serial ports also, COM1 and COM2, which is uh, might be useful if you have a specific need for that. Uh, it is screwed together here, so I'll take it apart in a second so we'll see what is inside. And here is the front of it with a card reader and two USB 3 ports, a power button, and some other stuff as well. So let's take it apart and see what we can do inside of the box. All right, so we're done unscrewing the case. We can have a look now inside. We've got those two serial ports here connecting, it looks like, to uh, the motherboard. So the serial is built right in. It might be some USB interface on it, but it is on the motherboard. Uh, there are two RAM modules on this one, even though it looks like there's only one. There's one right here, and there's another one underneath the uh, SATA drive here. So you've got two, so you can run it in dual channel uh, configuration, which is important for the improved graphics performance on the Apollo Lake chipset that we've looked at on some other devices. Uh, there is a heat sink here over the processor. It does not look like it is uh, socketed. I think it's soldered on, uh, so you won't be able to swap out the processor. But uh, unlike some of the other Apollo Lake devices, this one appears to be fanless, maybe because it's larger and it has more room to uh, move that air around. But I'm not seeing a fan in here. I even checked under the drive there. It does not look like there is one on here at all. Uh, you've also got room here for an M2 SATA device. So if you wanted to plug in one of those M2 SATA hard drives, you can do that. And your wireless card for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is right there. And what we'll be doing is uh, putting it back together and running some tests on it over the next couple of days. And uh, look for a review up before the weekend, hopefully. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.